that down and keep position. What's it doing? Councils the buffers. If I'm very clever, and I'm more than clever, I'm brilliant, I might just save the world. I'll rip that apart. I'll go for the first one. Me too. Now, I've just got to go and power up the game station. Hold on! is activated then it can only mean one thing we must be in danger and i mean fatal i'm dead or about to die any second with no chance of escape no. and that's okay hope it's a good death but i promise to look after you and that's what i'm doing the tardis is taking you home i won't let you and i bet you're fussing and moaning now typical but hold on and just listen a bit more the tardis can never return for me emergency program one means i'm facing an enemy that should never get their hands on this machine so this is what you should do. Let the TARDIS die. Just let this old box gather dust. No one can open it, no one will even notice it. Let it become a strange little thing standing on a street corner. And over the years, the world will move on and the box will be buried. And if you want to remember me, then you can do one thing. That's all, one thing. Have a good life. Do that for me, Rose. Have a fantastic life. You can't do this to me. You can't. I was all the way down Clifton Parade and I heard the engines. I thought there's only one thing that makes a noise like that. What is it? If I destroy this planet, I destroy the gravity field. The rocket. The rocket loses protection and falls into the black hole. I have to sacrifice Rose. <laughs> Escape, but there's a thousand ways it could have killed us. It could have ripped out the air or, I don't know, burnt us or anything. But it let us go. Why? Unless it wanted us to escape. Hey, Rose, do us a favor. Shut up. Almost there. We're beyond the reach of the black hole in 40, 39. So that's the trap. Well, the test of the final judgment, I don't know. But if I kill you, I kill her. Except that implies, in this big grand scheme of gods and devils, that she's just a victim. But well, I've seen a lot of this universe. I've seen fake gods and bad gods and demigods and would-be gods. Out of all that. Out of that whole pantheon. If I believe in one thing, just one thing, I believe in her. What happened? What was that? What's he doing? What is he doing? We've lost the funnel. 
gravity collapse. What does that mean? We can't escape. We're heading straight for the black hole. That's what I'll do. I will tell you a story. people who lived in terror of you and your judgment, all these people whose ancestors devoted themselves, sacrificed themselves to you. Can you hear them singing? Oh, you like to think you're a god. You're not a god. You're just a parasite eaten out with jealousy and envy and longing for the lives of others. You feed on them, on the memory of love and loss and birth and death and joy and sorrow. So, so, come on then, take mine. Take my memories. I hope you've got a big appetite. Because I have lived a long life. And I have seen a few things. I walked away from the last great time war. I marked the passing of the Time Lords. I saw the birth of the universe, and I watched as time ran out. Moment by moment, until nothing remained. No time, no space. Just me. 
I walked in universes where the laws of physics were devised by the mind of a mad man. And I have watched universes freeze and creations burn. I have seen things you wouldn't believe. I have lost things you will never understand. And I know things, secrets that must never be told, knowledge that must never be spoken. Knowledge that will make parasite God's place. So come on, then. Take it. Take it all, baby. Have it. You have it all. I don't know if you'll ever hear this, Clara. I don't even know if you're still alive out there. But you were good! And you made a mighty fine doctor. It's not working. You've killed us all. So this is going to save us? Pumping energy into the wall? No. Not into the wall. Through the wall. Rule number one of being the Doctor, use your enemy's power against them. They can't restore three dimensions to a door that never existed. remember that. I tried to reach out. I tried to understand you, but I think that you understand us perfectly. I think that you just don't care. And I don't know whether you are here to invade, infiltrate, or just replace us. I don't suppose it really matters now. You are monsters. That is the role you seem determined to play, so it seems that I must play my... The man that stops the monsters. I'm sending you back to your own dimension. Who knows? Some of you may even survive the trip. And if you do, remember this. You are not welcome here. This plane is protected. I am the Doctor. And I name you the Bonerous. and stay strong. Protect yourselves however you must. Oh. The flowers don't help much. You still look like a schoolboy on maneuvers. These are the best clothes I have. You look great. Normanish. He was out early. I'll be here. Did you hear the noises in the valley during the night? Violence is getting closer. Who's doing this stuff? 
ordinary people who've lived here all their lives. Whipped into a frenzy to be part of a mob. There's nothing worse than when normal people lose their minds. We've lived together for decades. Hindu, Muslim and Sikh. And now we're being told our differences are more important than what unites us. Like we learned nothing in the war. I don't know how we protect people when hatred's coming from all sides. Well, all we can strive to be is good men. And you, Prem, are a good man. I am. Um... Come on, marriage. This is the spot you choose. I'm going to be the first woman married in Pakistan. Of course you are. <laughs> You're right, sweetheart. I always cry at weddings. I know there aren't many certainties in any of our lives. But Umbreen, Prem, what I see in you is the certainty you have in each other. Something I believe in my faith. Love, in all its forms, is the most powerful weapon we have. Because love is a form of hope, and like hope, love abides in the face of everything. You both found love with each other. You believed in it, you fought for it, and you waited for it. And now, you're committing to it. Which makes you, right now, the two strongest people on this planet. Maybe in this universe. I'm not sure how we formalize this. I am. Will you? That's a Hindu thing, isn't it? Tying their hands together. Now it can be our thing, if we want it to be. Grandfather! Listen, Susan, please. I've double locked the doors. You can't get in. Now move back, child, where I can see you. During all the years I've been taking care of you, you in return have been taking care of me. Oh, Grandfather, I belong with you. Not any longer, Susan. You're still my grandchild and always will be. But now, you're a woman too. I want you to belong somewhere, to have roots of your own. With David, you'll be able to find those roots and live normally like any woman should do. Believe me, my dear, your future lies with David and not with a silly old buffer like me. One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. So, let me ask you a question about this brave new world of yours. When you've killed all the bad guys, and when it's all perfect and just and fair, when you have finally got it exactly the way you want it, what are you going to do with the people like you? the troublemakers. How are you going to protect your glorious revolution from the next one?
We'll win. Oh, will you? Well, maybe... Maybe you will win. But nobody wins for long. The wheel just keeps turning. So come on. Break the cycle. Why are you still talking? Because I want to get you to see, and I'm almost there. Do you know what I see, Doctor? A box. A box with everything I need. A 50% chance. For us too. And we're off, fingers on buzzers. Are you feeling lucky? Are you ready to play the game? Who's gonna be quickest? Who's gonna be luckiest? This is not a game! No, it's not a game, sweetheart, and I mean that most sincerely. Why are you doing this? Yes, I'd quite like to know that too. You set this up, why? Because it's not a game, Kate. This is a scale model of war. Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die. You don't know whose children are going to scream and burn. How many hearts will be broken? How many lives shattered? How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do from the very beginning? Sit down and talk! Listen to me, listen. But I just, I just want you to think. Do you know what thinking is? It's just a fancy word for changing your mind. I will not change my mind. Then you will die stupid. Alternatively, you could step away from that box. You could walk right out of that door and you could stand your revolution down. No. I'm not stopping this, Doctor. I started it. I will not stop it. You think they'll let me go after what I've done? You're all the same, you screaming kids. You know that? Look at me. I'm unforgivable. Well, here's the unforeseeable. I forgive you. After all you've done. I forgive you. You don't understand. You will never understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. And you know what you do with all that pain? Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. Burns your hand, and you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. Happy, happy. New New York can start again. And they got Nobbers Hame. Just what every city needs, cats in charge. Come on, tell me we're off. But what did he mean? The face of Bo. You're not alone. I'm alone. You've got me. Is that what he meant? I don't think so. Sorry. Then what? Doesn't matter. Take the TARDIS, off we go. All right, you staying? Till you talk to me properly, yes. He said last of your kind, what does that mean? It really doesn't matter. You don't talk, you never say. Why not? It's the city. They're singing. I lied to you, because I liked it. I could pretend, just for a bit, I could imagine they were still alive. 
underneath a burnt orange sky. I'm not just a time lord. I'm the last of the time lords. Trace of Bob is wrong, there's no one else. What happened? There was a war. A time war. The last great time war. My people fought a race called the Daleks for the sake of all creation, and they lost. They lost. Everyone lost. They're all gone now. My family. My friend, even that sky. Oh, I should have seen it, that old planet. The second sun would rise in the south and the mountains would shine. The leaves on the trees were silver. When they caught the light every morning, it looked like a forest on fire. When the autumn came, breathe. Sorry, sorry, dropped it. Hello, Stonehenge! Who takes the Pandorica takes the universe. But bad news, everyone. Cause guess who? Ha! It's sent you lot, you're all whizzing about. It's really very distracting. Could you all just stay still a minute? Because I am talking! Now, the question of the hour is, who's got Pandorica? Answer, I do. Next question, who's coming to take it from me? Come on! Look at me! No plan, no backup, no weapons worth a damn. Oh, and something else I don't have. Anything to lose. So, if you're sitting up there in your silly little spaceship with all your silly little guns, and you've got any plans on taking the Pandorica tonight, just remember who's standing in your way. Remember, every black day I ever stopped you. And then, and then, do the smart thing. Let somebody else try first. Save it the more it needs saving. The treadmill. <gasps> yes, yes, I know they'll get it all wrong without me. Well, I suppose one more lifetime won't kill anyone. Well, except me. Wait a moment, Doctor. Let's get it right. I've got a few things to say to you. Basic stuff first. Never be cruel, never be cowardly. And never ever eat pears. Remember, hate is always foolish and love. Try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. Oh, 
hand. And you mustn't tell anyone your name. No one would understand it anyway. Except the... Oh. Children can hear it. Sometimes, if their hearts are in the right place, and the stars are too, children can hear your name. Laugh hard. Run fast. Be kind. Doctor. I let you go. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.